I'm against Sultai here, round one, historic. Uh, we'll keep this one. We have a blank, but... We have some cantrips. Do need to draw some lands, but... That's one land drawn. Let's see how many times they hit Nissa in turn four on the play. Oh, they don't have it. That's weird. I don't think I really want to have Wall Blossoms. I'd rather just like, it's just going to cycle and play, I think, so. You can go and grab Neoform, I suppose. Get up to, if we get up to seven mana, we can just win, I guess. They don't do anything. We'll we'll pay up wishes for uh, active negation. They haven't drawn that many thought seizes. Enemies game one interaction is just two ether gusts. I assume they have one. But <clears throat> them playing the Fed of Pools is really weird to me. Not sure what the point what the point of doing that is, but I feel like cycling towards a thought teach or something might be better. Maybe they just have a a, a handful of hydrate graces that they can't use. That might be a plausible scenario or like Bunch of like eliminates and extinction events that don't do anything. But like to, if I drew an untap land there, then I, I have two counter backup, but should be fine. I don't think there's a combination of cards I could have that matters here. They have two Ether Gusts, they only interact with spells, game one, so.
I mean, they might have a handful of Fatal Pushes, and they're like Fatal Push, Fatal Pushes, Fatal Push, CK Stormcaller, but that doesn't matter. I have one right here. You gotta be careful because you like the <laughs> the position of stuff changes every single time the, the thing comes up. Uh so I guess we just play CK Strong Garley here. I guess we can just play Fae Wishes. I don't think it matters. All right, they, they try to eliminate Tuk Tuk and Rubble for it or Comet Seller and recounter it. And then we go from there. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. Round timer started. All right. I never quite know how to sideboard in this mashup. Definitely don't want the angers and stuff in the braids. Don't need those. Don't need the second wall blossoms. I probably don't need the second explorer either. It's going to be kind of a slow game. So this is like a pretty clear five slots. Um, which it can be a lot of things. Um, I mean, the clear ones are, we could use, are like these. I don't know if the Uro is actually good. I don't know if we can actually fight the Uro fights, unless I have an in-play Narset, right? Seems like that would be hard to do. Like, they are a much better deck at playing Uro than I am, because I can't, I can't even really escape Uro multiple times in a match, I just can't get out of cards in the graveyard. Could get rid of the second top tackle before it's um pretty unlikely for the game to come to that that like I draw one and I can't get rid of it and I have no other way to win. Like those those odds are low. Um But it's kinda of from here that it's like it's kinda of difficult. I'm actually not sure Uro is good in, against against Sultai because they're just so much better at playing the Uro game than you are. Um, I'm not even sure the second impact negation is very good either. Take out this and this, I guess. I think on the play I put in my two drop accelerants more. I actually think I need probably need to keep Paradise Shirt in just because I can need to be able to attack. So like enemy Narsets. <clears throat> you know, I gotta be I gotta be careful in cutting explorers and stuff because my Narsets need to hit non creatures.
That could be a reason to cut the explorers, is that if enemy has three Narcissus they're going to be bringing in, then don't really want explorers. Gonna be opting for a land. I don't know why you're tapping your non island, but whatever. <laughs> I feel like you wanna leave it on tap black, right? Well, we definitely need the fourth land, so we'll keep that. I thought I had drag traces. The odds of hitting around 80, 80 some odd percent, so that I brick there is kind of whatever. You know, I actually should have played Basketball Mimic there in retrospect. When you have 20 hits in your deck, it's 80%, then your hit's gonna hit. So. Do I need this land? I don't think so. I mean, that land lets me play around a single removal spell, so I guess I do need it. Alright. I'll just make them have it, I guess. Okay, they have it. That's too bad. <sighs> All right, might have been better for me to just play the uh... Might have been better for me to just play the I don't I don't just don't think Uro's what's really what's going on here in this matchup I don't think I can actually Uro and realistically win games, but maybe we could have maybe like Fae wished instead of Narsidid there. I didn't expect Narsid to completely brick. And if they don't have Nissa, the Narsid's a way better play. So a lot of things had to go wrong there. See what we got going on. Not you. That being on the bottom is really good. So no, no we don't. We're never gonna draw that. That's really good. I uh, did not want to draw that though. Uh, let's go ahead and optimize. He's looking for a tap line, I guess. 
That is a blue one. We do not want a blue one. Doesn't really get us anywhere, right? We'd have to play it as land anyways. We need a second blue. So I'm going to take Narset. Got to expect that I'm going to draw blue at some point, right? Not drawing Tardic Wolf for it's good. Sucks that we drew this, but might just actually just cast it here. We probably removed a lot of removal, so like this four one is probably not a bad play to play anyways. Tells me they have at least one arrow in their hand, right? We draw an untapped blue, we're looking really good here. We don't draw an untapped blue, things are looking not as good. But I can draw a botanical sanctum knowing my luck. They have a row next turn? No. I mean, they might. That tells me that they have Nissa in their hands. It's still weird that they're not going after my Seagate Stormcaller, but oh, they were just trying to draw a land? Interesting. Uh, I don't think they have Shark Typhoons. I don't think they're going to bring them in. on top. Decline, I think. Oh, they could just cycle the Shark Typhoon to block, right? Wouldn't that be way better? Go for it. No harm in that.
So the question is, do we just go for double tuk tuk? I think we do. So we can tuk tuk and then copy it. And then even if they eliminate a dual caster mage, I have 12, 13, 14. Gee.